Okay guys, uh, this is an update for my Expert 1K and a couple of problems I'm having. Um, so the Expert's running with my ICOM 7600 and that is then connected to uh, Log4OM on my laptop which I've not got it on at the moment and what I normally do, go on to um, uh, OmniRig and set every, everything up on there that's what I normally do. Okay, so normal mode. Let's come out of center fixed. Normal mode. So I normally go on just to have a look around, see what's on there. Then, if I'm looking for any DX, I put or switch on sent slash fix. So that'll go from seven to seven two hundred, and I can see what's all on the band. As I say, normally I might just look on there. And I've got 100k each side, so I can see up and down the band, but sometimes I want to go on the whole of the band. And that's what I think the problem is. Uh, one of the problems is when I'm on there, um, then every now and again, I get on the front of the screen, on the flex, out of band. So whether it's the lead from the back of the 7600, it's telling the Expert 1K, the right frequency that I'm actually on. I think it could be that. That's what I'm thinking it is. I'm not 100% sure because I've not really gone into uh, error correction on that and find out exactly. Uh, it's just happened um, a few times and when it bugs me then I'll get on and do it. So that's just one problem. Um, the next one is a uh, login program and the uh, uh, Expert 1K sometimes being disconnected so I get problems uh, with my login program and uh, the expert and jump into other bands so what I'll be on I'll be on 40 meters um, and if I go to 80 the uh, expert 1k won't go to 80 meters it'll stay on 40 meters and also uh, with my log 4 om program um, it'll say there 7176 dead and it'll say they're on the screen of the login program log4om but when I move off the frequency won't change on the login program so some RF gain in somewhere and I think it's the lead so I've put three ferrite, uh, ferrites on there just to see if that'll cure it uh, what you normally have to do is go into exit set, go on to set, go on to others, and where it says CIV transceiver, that's normally off. So then I've gone in into this setting, turned it on, come all the way back out, and then normally I either have to turn the radio off to reset everything, and then go back into uh, OmniRig, turn that back on, and reset uh, or re uh, tell it the parameters so I have to go and click on it again the program will load up it does take a, a few seconds to load up hopefully um, when it does there you go ICOM 7600 version 2 because that's what I'm using version 2 I'm using COM9 because I've got all different COM ports on there. And 9600. So, 9600, are, or I can put it into uh, the radio into auto. And then they try and talk to each other. There's some kind of um, mix-up um, that I can see. Is I have to have Log4OM on 9600 boards. And um, the Expert 1K is... 9600 so it could be a problem there uh, trying to talk to each other and the mess up if you're just using a normal uh, logbook i.e. you write into it paper logbook then you're fine but if you're using a login program uh, on the pc then that's your problem so i've come back out reset this back up i'm still in there uh, log for om and then redo that and put it on to um, uh, rig one so i'll not be using my uh, FT2000, that'd be off. I'll just use this one just for DX. 
that one's for chatting with the SSB so this would just be for DX and then that starts to work again then when you use your uh, your 600 watts or put it on half power and it's 400 watts when you start using your power again um, the same thing will happen so I just put the ferrites on last night just to see if that will work I've not done it yet so um, I can't say exactly what's happened but I've had uh, Penn he's just had some problems with his Expert 1K uh, losing power or dropping power out so they're saying uh, 600 watts it goes down to zero and then when he turns his um, amp back on it comes back up to, to proper power so the only problems I've had is uh, the logbook program and the radio and the Expert 1K talking to each other if I'm just using uh, the Expert 1K with the radio then I've got no problem at all uh, really, uh, for the logging part no logbook I can use that no problem at all but then if I'm using this as I say the screen uh, center uh, slash fixed uh, then I'll get on the front of the screen error out of band or something like that I come off and then I quickly check it and it starts to work or it looks like it starts to work so that could be another problem I'm not sure if anybody else has had any of these problems uh, or got the same setup I, I, ICOM 7600 and an Expert 1K and if they're using log for OM um, it could be that I've got all my leads connected to uh, close together and everything else um, it could be that situation uh, I don't know so there's lots of variables and um, because of how everything's connected up it could be something to do with that uh, I don't know I'm just putting this out just in case anybody else has had the same kind of problem then they can post below and we'll go from there but Expert 1K is a fantastic amp um, tunes all my antennas I've changed my antennas now um, on let's just go on to my setup antennas on mine now I've still got my anything up to 20 meters is either number one is my four element tribander and number three is my cobweb so they do that so from 40 meters upwards number two is my MTD3 and um, number four is my uh, new butternut HF2V uh, brilliant antenna so I thought I'd put that up and that's on 40 and 80 that's all it does 40 and 80 meters and it outperforms my uh, MTD3 uh, my uh, 40 80 and top band antenna so that's what I've been doing and uh, it works fine well the amps brilliant still a brilliant amp it's just li little niggles that come up and if anybody else has got a problem please post below so if anybody else uh, gets it they can see what's happening and maybe get something sorted um hope you enjoyed that little bit of information and uh, i'll post some else once i get more information have a good weekend